नमस्कार वेलकम अगेन टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल इंटरेस्टिंग हेडलाइन इज इन इट वाई आर द गांधीज नॉट ये अरेस्टेड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट आई इंटेंड टू आस्क यू टू नाइट लेट्स गेट राइट टू दिस इमेजिन इमेजिन इफ अ पर्सन कम्स टू यू to your company to your office asks you for a job tells you that i am a salesman and i have sold 10 crores worth of products 10 crores worth of sales i have done in one year i am a champion salesman give me the job this is what he writes in his resume and this is what he tells you in his interview you look at the resume you watch him talk you see his interview you take his interview and uh, you're impressed and you give him the job in a month you realize that every statement he made in his resume was false he lied to you what you will do and what the law allows you to do is to call him and say that you have misrepresented facts you have misrepresented facts in your resume and in your subsequent interview therefore we are going to sack you now you lied to us to get the job is that fact is that fair this is what you do now uh, why am i saying this i'm saying this because you see for a salesman or a sales manager or whatever you can sack him if he lies to get a job or if he misrepresents facts to get a job you can sack him the law allows you to do that but isn't it ironic that the top jobs in our country you can get by possibly misrepresenting facts i will tell you what i mean by that but before i get into what i mean by that i want you to see this one minute video and then i will be back manavar abhi bhai ek minute abhi unko apne gathbandhan ka naam badalna padta acha naam tha upa 10 saal satta mein bhi reh liye the kya problem tha bhai naam kyun badla आप लोगों को मैं बताना चाहता हूं देश की जनता को सदन के माध्यम से बहना इतने सारे घोटाले टोटल लगाया तो 12 लाख करोड़ के बाद मैंने टोटल छोड़ दिया 12 लाख करोड़ के गपले घोटाले भ्रष्टाचार यूपीए के नाम पर चढ़े हैं कैसे जाए बाजार में अब जो कंपनी दिवालिया हो जाती है या साख खराब हो जाती है इसकी तो वो नाम बदल दे बोर्ड बदल दे इन्होंने भी नाम बदल दिया मान्यवर मान्यवर बोफोर्स एक मिनट भाई बोफोर्स घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए ने किया टू जी स्पेक्ट्रम किसने किया यूपीए ने सत्यम घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए कॉमनवेल्थ घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए कोयला घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए ने टाटा ट्रक घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए ने वोट के बदले नोट का घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए आदर्श घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए ने नेशनल हेराल का घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए वाड्रा का डीएलएफ घोटाला किसने किया यूपीए ने चारा घोटाला किसने किया खाद्य सुरक्षा बिल का घोटाला किसने किया गाजियाबाद प्रोविडेंट फंड घोटाला किसने किया हर्षद मेहता शेयर बाजार का घोटाला किसने किया हसन अली का हवाला घोटाला किसने किया आईपीएल का घोटाला किसने किया एल हाउसिंग का घोटाला किसने किया मधु कोडा घोटाला किसने किया फायर प्रॉन सबमरीन घोटाला किसने किया और कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष की यात्रा का भी घोटाला किसने किया अब साहब इनके पास इनके पास नाम बदलने के अलावे इनके पास नाम बदलने के अलावे कोई रास्ता नहीं रहा है 
So here, the Home Minister of India, who incidentally has all the powers, all the powers, he has police, he has ED, everything in his command. The Home Minister of India says that I am so fed up, I cannot count the amount of scams that the UPA government did. He says that just before the election, this is 2023, he said it now, and election is next year. And you know what? This was the same Home Minister for the last five years and his government for the last 10 years. Rahul Gandhi is not arrested. Sonia Gandhi, who is the UPA chairman, is not arrested. Not arrested. She is roaming free. Manmohan Singh is not arrested. He is roaming free. Majority of the ministers were not arrested except for P. Chidambaram. Majority of the minister is not arrested. P. Chidambaram also arrested for 100 days, left free. So, so many corruptions where the Home Minister cannot count and the whole BJP in, in, in a very chorus format, you know, kind of presenting that corruption to the nation. What are they actually telling us? That, listen, you know, so many corruption, but you know, unfortunately, we were not efficient enough to even arrest one person because of all this corruption. Corruption, so many. Is that what I'm supposed to believe in? Okay. Be that as it may. Let me talk to you about another incident. You see, something similar happened in 2013-14. In 2013-14, the Bharatiya Janata Party had actually released a film. This film was called Vadra Get Rich Quick. Vadra Get Rich Quick. This was about Robert Vadra, uh, this one's uh, husband, Priyanka Gandhi's husband. And they released a film saying that Robert Vadra, in collusion with uh, Congress government in of Haryana and Rajasthan, looted, looted uh, and struck major land deals and looted the state. This was the film. I remember people saying that Robert Vadra would be arrested immediately, immediately once Bharatiya Janata Party comes into power. This was 2013-2014. I think this film was released in April 2014, if I am not mistaken. Now, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Nine years passed, Baba. Vadra is in his house. He is enjoying himself. He was in. The, he, he is going to his club regularly. He is having a normal life. He is not arrested. Now again, what do I understand? Do I understand that, oops, it was all a mistake. It was misrepresented. This deal actually didn't exist. Is that what should, I should understand? Or I should understand that we are not capable, we are not efficient, Baba, to catch this criminal. He is too good, too good. He cannot catch him. We know he has done it, but we cannot catch him. Our government is not capable enough to catch a culprit and put him behind bars. Is that what I am supposed to understand? Case 2. Let's take case 3. Case 3 is when our Prime Minister himself goes out and says that the coalition is now addicted to corruption and instead of finding solution to end culture of graft, it stops functioning. This is what the Prime Minister said. He went on to say that India needs a dream team and not a dirty team in 2014 and people must decide that during the election. This is what he said. He said widespread corruption has destroyed the dignity of the Prime Minister's post since people below him have begun indulging in more and more corruption. This is what Mr. Modi said. All this Mr. Modi said. 2014. 2023. How many of UPA people are, are, have been put behind bars? Has Manmohan Singh been put behind bars? You say all these people, all this happened under Mr. Manmohan Singh's watch. All this happened under his watch. So why is he not arrested? Why is he not booked? Why is he roaming free? He should be arrested, no? Sonia Gandhi was the UPA convener. Why is she not arrested? Rahul Gandhi, why is he not arrested? So, again, question remains, should I assume that this was misrepresented or should I assume that we are incapable, inefficient to arrest a culprit? We have no ways, means, methods to arrest a culprit who has looted the country. Should I assume that? Which one of these two should I assume? Let's go further. You see, it's not just about Bharatiya Janata Party. 
Do you remember a, a, a gentleman called Anna Hazare? Anna Hazare used to wear those, you know, those clothes coats and all. He used to he used to wear those topi topi and all, and you know, with my be Anna and all that. You remember that Anna Hazare story, and uh, his partner, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. You remember that story? You know, he used to be he used to kind of pose like Gandhi and he used to sit like Gandhi, and he claimed to you know uh, give a food to do dharna to hunger strike. Now he claimed all that Mount Vrat, Mount Vrat story. We heard what happened in his Mount Vrat. In fact, do watch that interview uh, with uh, Mr. Raju Parulekar that I had. Do watch that interview. You'll know what his Mount Vrat was. So, so we heard all that this Mount Vrat and that topi and that beautifully shot picture with him sitting exactly like Gandhi and you know all of that. All of that branding happened. All of that branding happened. You know why all of this happened and crores of people and crores of crores and crores of rupees were spent. Crores and crores of rupees were spent to prove UPA was a corrupt government. To say that you need a Jan Lokpal bill and Jan Lokpal bill is the only solution to the problem of India. And you know BJP supported them fully. BJP supported them fully. LK Advani and lot of other BJP leaders had gone uh, to show their support to uh, Anna Hazare and Arvind Kejriwal. You know what is the story, the result of all this? The result is, as of 23rd May, this report is as on 23rd May 2023, not one single person has been prosecuted under the Lokpal. Not one particular person, not one person. From 2014 to now, not one person is prosecuted under Lokpal. And this was the same Lokpal bill that Mr. Anna Hazare sat there and Mr. Arvind Kejriwal sat there next to him with a flag, sat there, you know, with all that shenanigan and everything, you know, one lady uh, cop, uh, Miss Kiran Bedi, you know, walking around with, you know, all that happened, all this razzmatazz happened to make this Jan Lokpal bill, to pull the UPA government down. They pulled the UPA government down successfully. They built the Bharatiya Janata Party government successfully. Jan Lokpal also was instituted after a long time. But finally, not one person, not one person booked under Jan Lokpal bill. What am I supposed to understand? Am I supposed to understand that this Anna Hazare and his company, including Arvind Kejriwal, put up this show purely for a political reason? Purely for a political reason. They misrepresented facts. Because otherwise, Lokpal by now should have arrested thousands of people, including uh, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, uh, Manmohan Singh, the others. Everybody should have been behind bars, including uh, that uh, uh, Chidambaram, who should have also been behind bars today. Why are none of these people behind bars? So the fact is, all these cases that I, I, I presented in front of you, these are cases where these people had come to front of you, the interviewer, with their resume and with their claims that, you know, the current government is corrupt. Elect us, make us the government so that we can put them behind bars or we can stop corruption. My question to you is, has corruption stopped? My question to you is, were the people who they claim to be corrupt, way back in 2013, 2014, how many of them had gone behind bars? My question to you then is, wasn't this misinterpretation? And my question to you is, how fair that a pun in an office cannot misrepresent facts, cannot misrepresent his qualification, cannot misrepresent what he has done and, and get a job because he could be sacked legally, but a government can do that. A politician can do that easily. Nothing happens to him. This is the question that I want to leave with you tonight. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar.